hi welcome back to your new lesson in this lesson i am going to show you how you can access a data memory in a vr microcontroller to access a data memory a vr microcontrollers have a few instructions such as lds and the sts lds stands for the load the data from the space that is the data space or you can say the load direct data from a data space so let's see here we have LDS, then we have RD and the K, where RD stands for the destination register, and the K is an address between 0x00 to 0x double f that is 64 kilobyte maximum as we had discussed earlier so this k can be only in between 0x00 to 0x double f double f this lds instruction tells the cpu to load one byte from an address into the data memory which is pointed by pointed by this value that is the k the location in the data memory can be in any part of the data space throughout to here to here it can be one of the input output registers or it can be into the internal SRAM location or it can be into the GPR for example let's say if I say to you that Let's write an instruction uh, with an LDS. LDS. If I say LDS R50X200, that means the data into R5 will be loaded from the address of 0x200 and the content, okay? So anywhere, let's say that content is here, if we say like that 0x200, then it will be loaded from this, uh, the content at this address. Now let's take a formal example to understand that, how it works. So the formal example is like that. Let's say we have here LDS. R0 0x300 and then we have LDS R1 0x302 and then we have add R1 and R0 then what happened in this case R0 equal to the content of the location of uh, uh, 300 then what you can say the r0 will be loaded with the content of 0x300 however the r1 will be loaded from the 8-bit memory space data the address will be pointed by 0x302 and then finally the result will be placed here into r1 that will be the R1 is equal to R1 plus R0. So for example, let's say you have a GPR like this. Here you have R0, R1 and the R2. And here this is the memory space of 0x um, on the 300. So the data in this location here will be loaded into R0 that's been like this and the data present into 0x302 here will be loaded into R1 right great so this is uh, this was about the uh, LDS instruction 
and the next instruction is STS next instruction we have STS which shows that which says that store direct to data space and this STS instruction syntax is like this we have here the K and then finally here we have a RR that means the store the content of this register RR into the address of K the pointed by address K so in STS instruction it tells CPU to store the content of the GPR to an address location in the data memory space after this instruction is executed the location in the data space will have the same value as this general purpose register have the location can be in any part of the data memory space as we had seen into the LDS kind uh, in LDS uh, instruction kind of that it can be one of the input output registers a location of SRAM or a GPR now let's try to understand this with an example and here we have an example the example says that STS uh, sorry let's say example says like this here we have LDI R16 with 0x55 that means R16 is loaded with the 55 and then we have here the STS 0x38 and then R16 that means the content of this data the, this register R16 that is the 0x55 will be stored at the address of 0x38 let's say the 0x38 is somewhere here the address of 0x38 then the value will be stored here that the value will be 0x55 at that address and similarly let's say we have another instruction which says that the STS 0x35 and R16 now at the address of the 0x35 let's say let's say that instruction that address is here that's the 0x sorry 0x35 then the R16 would be also loaded here that is 0x55 right so this is all about in this video in which we have seen the instruction set of the SDS how it stores the data into the data memory and the LDS how it and we have seen the LDS how it uh, load the data from the data memory so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your